Hey everyone, it's Dave and Olive. Thanks for joining us here at Book Blather, where we talk about the books we've read recently to help spread the joy of reading. We talk a lot of science fiction, horror, fantasy, but we try to be pretty well read, so we mix it up with other kinds of fiction and nonfiction as well. Today we're going to be doing a short little video where we're going to take you along on a little special trip we did. Hey everyone, it's Dave and Olive, along with her sister Riley. Um, we're just, uh, we're taking a little walk before we head up to Boston. Really excited today. We're finally gonna be visiting a really awesome, what seems like a really awesome bookshop. Um, the, it's um, called the, ba the Brattle Bookshop, I think is the actual name, up in Boston. Um, I've been hearing Steve Donahue talk about this place. He, um, if you don't know Steve's, uh, Steve's channel, um, he's got a great channel. We'll, we'll link it below. But I've been listening to Steve talk about this for probably a year and a half. He always heads over there. You know, Steve reads more books probably than anybody on the planet. And he, he, uh, he talks about this place and it looks, looks really, really cool. And my daughter actually went to college right up there, but I never knew about it until she was finally... Uh, done when she was, um, you know, finishing up on a different campus. And so uh, we're going up there for graduation today. So finally, for the first time, I'm actually going to get to visit the Brattle Bookshop. So really, really excited. And uh, we'll see you up there. Okay, we're rolling into Boston now. Um, probably not gonna have too long at the Brattle because we got a late start. Olive and Riley's uh, pets. We had a last minute cancellation with Riley and Olive's pet sitter. So we had to find a replacement. So um, we got a little much later start than we had hoped. So but, but we'll, should be able to have a few minutes over there and check the place out. You know, they, one of the draws of the place is they have like this lot outside where they have like those carts of books with, with uh, and that are extra discounted used books, but I, it was raining before, so I don't know if it'll, they might not have that stuff out, but the sun did come out, so maybe, um, maybe they'll have that stuff out, but we're not going to have too much time anyway, so we'll see you over there. And there's the Brattle Bookshop. This is located at 9 West Street in Boston. It's kind of like a back street that runs between two more major ones, Tremont and Washington. It's a really cool part of Boston. This is right around the corner from Emerson College. And it's literally just a few blocks from some famous theaters. And really, really cool area. So here's a better vantage point of the lot adjacent to the store. It's connected to it. It's directly to the right of the main shop. And as you can see, it has a bunch of carts out there with different colored signs on top. That's because um, these are all the discounted books. You know, the yellow ones are all $5 a book. The orange ones are $3 a book. And uh, I think the white ones uh, for uh, $1 a book. Um, but also on the side here, they, there's a lot of books in, in these, as you can see, these built-in cases against the, the brick walls. that the, They close these up with doors at night. Um, which also look really cool, made of books, and, um, uh, over here, um, different famous, famous ones. And uh, this is uh, inside on the main floor. Um, here we're going up the steps. Uh, inside, everything is um, uh, very uh, organized and, 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 and labeled by different categories. Um, they even have some art here on the right-hand side. And if you pay particularly close attention in a second, you'll see where I miss a step because I'm much too worried about recording the video. So now we're back down here on the main floor. And um, as you can see there, they've already started putting in a few of the carts, um, uh, filling up the aisles down here because we got here so late. Uh, those are from outside. Here's the uh, fantasy and science fiction section. And there's actually another floor that we didn't get to. Michael's going to wonder why we didn't get this book here. But, um, yeah, we just didn't have time, so we couldn't even see the third floor. Okay, so despite 
how excited we were for a while planning for this trip. Uh, although we got there, we actually had a lot less time than we had planned. At the last minute, we had a cancellation for Olive's and her sister Riley's uh, dog sitter. So we were scrambling to find coverage, left a lot later than we had planned, and really unfortunately got to the Brattle a little before closing. So we had very little time there to actually look at the books as, as you, after the, the quick video that we shot that we just showed you. We actually only had about 15 minutes to look at the books. They, so they close at 5.30, and when they say they close at 5.30, they mean they really close at 5.30. So basically around 5 o'clock, right after I was done filming the video in there, they had started shutting down the outside and bringing all the carts in and filling up all the aisles inside with the carts. So your ability to shop was pretty um, compromised, you know, as of a little after 5. So... Uh, to, uh, you know, that, to be fair, they, they do say they close at 5.30 and, and they mean it. So uh, if you are going to visit, you know, don't do what we did and, and, and get there nice and early so that you'll have plenty of time to, to look around. So hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll be back in Boston at some point. So we'll make sure we get there earlier next time so we have a lot more time to shop. We did able to look about 15 minutes and it was limited to the science fiction fantasy section. And uh, we didn't really get to do much looking besides that before, before, like I said, it was pretty much over. But, in, in, you know, we're professionals, so in that short amount of time, um, we, did get, <laughs> we, did, we did find a few things. So uh, the first thing that we found was uh, m uh, another booktuber, Michael K. Vaughn, who I'll link below, has, you know, sent us a nice starter kit on uh, Edgar Rice Burroughs, a couple of Edgar Rice Burroughs series. So we started with the Pellucidar series, which is a Hollow Earth adventure. And there are, I, I think it was seven books in the series, but in any event, the volume that Michael sent us it had the first three books. So this is the fourth book. We found an old copy of Tarzan at the Earth's Core. So we have the first three in the volume that Michael sent us, and then this, this is the next one. This is obviously Edgar Rice Burroughs also has the Tarzan series. So as you can see here, it says number 13 on the cover, uh, but that's because it's number 13 in the Tarzan series. It's actually number four in the Pellucidar series. So yeah, we're, this is, I guess, I think when they're, you know, somebody's launching a rescue for somebody else that's being held prisoner down in, in Pellucidar, uh, Tarzan gets enlisted to help. So. Uh, then we they happen to have the next one in the Tarzan series, Tarzan the Invincible, number number fourteen in the series. I think there's like twenty some Tarzan books. I think like twenty three or I think I know, something like that. Um, so anyway, so you know uh, we also got the Michael had also sent us a volume of the first three Tarzan books. So this is, you know, this is number 14. I'm not really sure why we got this, except that we were rushing and it was, it was next to the other one. So we just, we just grabbed it. Uh, I'm sure we're going to love all the Tarzan books, so we'll read it eventually. Um, and, and then um, we also got uh, another series uh, that Michael had sent us a starter volume for. Was the, is Edgar Rice Burroughs' Barsoom series, which is Mars. And, uh, you know, he sent us a book that has the first three volumes in it. But, so even though we already have this in that volume, we saw this vintage copy of the first book in the series, A Princess of Mars. So we, we couldn't really pass it up. This was just really cool looking vintage copy. So we just, we wanted to get this since we're going to be reading this. We'll be reading the volume um, that, that, Michael gave us so we don't ruin this old copy but we did just want to want to have this for the collection and then the last one that we we got before we ran out of time uh, is we found one of these ace doubles and I've mentioned before we have a few of these and whenever I see these in the wild always try to try to pick them up um, kind of started not don't have too many yet this is probably our fourth or something third, fourth third or fourth and I'm um, just, just gonna try to start a, start a collection of these going. But, so this one has Rendezvous on a Lost World by A. Be a Bertram Chandler. And on the flip side, it's The Door Through Space by Marion Zimmer Bradley. 
So that was all we had time for. Like I said, we only had we had very little time. So um, we're hoping to get back, but we did really like it. I hope you got a sense of it from the videos. It looks really cool. We understand why Steve Donahue has, has been talking about it for, for so long and loves going there. Um, we recommend going, get there early, and we'll be back ourselves and uh, maybe we'll run into somebody there. So, all right, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you get notified the next time Olive says it's okay to upload another video. If you've read any of these books or are going to read any of these books, feel free to leave us a comment. And if you don't want to say anything substantive, go ahead and leave Olive a, a puppy emoji. She always loves to see those. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and each other, and we'll see you next time.